how much money did I make in 2023 coming up? Hello and welcome back to the Freelance Verse. Merry Christmas. This goes out on Christmas Day, so I hope you enjoy a nice day off today and uh, can spend time with your family and friends. Uh, it is officially my last working day of the year. It's the 22nd of December. And as it is a tradition by now, this is the fourth video I'm making uh, of this type. I do a year in review video. Uh, I'm going to pack them all in a playlist and link them up here. So if you want to go back and see the evolution of the channel, that could be quite interesting. 2023 has been a challenging year for a lot of freelance translators. I see it in many year in review posts on LinkedIn that uh, the revenues have dropped. The workload has dropped for many people, not for everyone, uh, uh, not for me either. I still had a very good year, so I'm happy with that. But I see that it's getting more and more difficult to work with the old ways let's say like we we have been working for 10 years in the in the past decade uh, it's really important to adapt your services and to change a few things in order to still grow as a translator as always i will look at the few graphs that i prepared and then show you also the evolution of the channel quick disclaimer when i show numbers i don't show actual currency numbers i show percentages this has two reasons number one uh, this is a youtube video that goes out in the public world and i don't know where it will end up so i don't want to share my finances on there uh, second reason there is no point in comparing yourself to other people when it comes to currency uh, it's so individual what you need where you come from what your family circumstances are how much money you need right so if someone makes 100k and you make 50k that doesn't mean you're worse off that de depends on so many things uh, so I am very open with my finances so if you want to know more please reach out to me privately through LinkedIn and we can discuss actual numbers but here in this video I'm using percentages compared to my last performing year. If you watch my last year uh, my language business has dropped uh, quite significantly I don't remember like 7 or 8% in revenue went down because I focused very much on the YouTube channel. Uh, this year this has kind of balanced out. I focused more again on my language business and let the YouTube channel just generate what it does and you know still focus on it but not uh, I, I'm, I didn't focus too much on building it also because I started working or already last year but this was the first year that I fully had someone on board to do the social media uh, that helped a lot so I could really focus on just video production. So let's head straight into it with the first graph. I'm going to put them somewhere here on the screen and move a bit over so you can have space here. Uh, so the first is revenue. As you can see I have significantly been able to raise my revenue by 11.5%. That's fantastic really it's more than one month uh, more than last year right even though it dropped a bit last year so it's uh, you know relative in that regard of course but it has been the highest grossing year in uh, history for my for my business since I started and this was now I think year seven of my activity I started in 16 yes this was year seven of my business activity and it has been the highest grossing year so I'm very happy with that uh, this has to do with mostly increase in prices finding new clients focusing more on that business rather than the YouTube channel as I said before so it has many factors but also just uh, yeah it has been going really well and I have been recommended clients from from colleagues and through the credibility that I was able to build with the channel I was able to uh, charge more and be the expert in a specific field also specializing more is something that I talk about later but that also played into that next graph let's look at the YouTube revenue that dropped significantly 11% um, now you could say, okay, you, his language business grew 11%, YouTube business dropped 11%, so it equals it out. But of course, keep in mind, these are percentages. So 11% from the language business is much, much more than 11% from the YouTube revenue, right? I will show you the YouTube revenue in a second. I'm quite transparent with that as much as I'm allowed. Uh, so it makes sense that it dropped the interest in general dropped a bit for the channel it has still gr been growing uh, uh, we see that in a second but it has been growing less than the year before my expenses have grown by five percent that is okay that's within the realm of what I expected last year they grew a lot by more than 20 percent because of the inflation and the, just the cost of living crisis this year they grew again a bit but uh, that's expected I mean I traveled a lot this year and went to uh, conferences etc 
and I also haven't been meticulous in, in tracking them, so it's not exactly accurate, but at least more or less I know that they were almost the same as last year, but they grew a little bit. Days Off, that surprised me the most. <laughs> so I need to put a big disclaimer here, Days Off does not mean holiday for me. The Days Off is everything that's not working on the language business. So going to conferences, uh, being sick, of course holidays as well, but also just traveling and uh, you know, taking random days off. Uh, last year, 38, I thought that's quite a lot. And this year, actually it's 53, because this week I had before I, uh, after I made this graph, there was one more day. So 15 days more than last year. I was really surprised to see that. It has to do with the fact that I went on a big journey and a big travel for almost a month and I didn't work at all then, uh, which of course means that I don't have a graph for my monthly revenue. Maybe I can insert that afterwards. So you see that one month, of course, which is April, I made very little money, but then May was the best month I ever had. So the graph, like it balances it out quite consistently. Uh, but that means, of course, my days off were bigger. So as you can see, I'm very happy with this result. Much less worked because much more days off, but still more revenue this year. So I'm uh, happy to see that. I have collaborated with a total of 17 clients this year, which is a growth as well. I think last year it was 14. Three of these 17 actually came in in the last month in December. It was a great month for me in terms of outreach. And two of the three came through uh, recommendation, uh, references, tagging, which is amazing. Uh, both on LinkedIn, both from people that were on the channel, Susie and Robert. They tagged me in a post on LinkedIn where the client looked for um, or a potential client looked for a German or Swiss German translator. And uh, I reached out to them. I had to do tests for both of them. I passed, so now we started working together. And they're all in the sports industry, which is amazing. So I definitely want to focus on that in the new year. Speaking of that, as you know, I always have an overall goal of a year. Uh, and for 2024, this is definitely niching down. My big goal is to specialize fully in sports, specifically winter sports and motorsports. So I'm really going specific now. I'm going, I have plans to ditch my technology and IT specialization completely. Of course, the clients that I have now, I will still keep and work with them, but I will not go for new clients in that area. So I will revamp my entire marketing material, my whole uh, LinkedIn existence, etc. will change. I really want to become a a very specialized expert in specific fields and go for direct clients in that area. I feel like that's the next step in my business. Uh, he spoke, the, if you have seen the last video, I think it was on the channel, uh, I went to ISPO, a, a sports conference, and that really gave me the last motivation, the last click in saying, okay, this is my journey, this is my path where I need to go next. So it was kind of the kickoff of a new era of my business and maybe also the freelance verse, because of course this will uh, require a lot of new information, a lot of new learning for me. And I love to share videos where I'm learning as well and take you along, you know, so like actually showing you the process of specializing very deeply and in that field, how I can approach people, how I can talk, how I can really be a member of this community. So uh, expect some videos on that, definitely. Uh, it could change a lot my business, actually, when I think about it. I have a lot of plans how I want to do that. Uh, it's not set in stone yet. I will take now the holiday break, the, the Christmas break to really think about how I want to do it. You know, I want to approach it with a plan strate strategically. So very excited to see where it's going. All right, now let's look at the YouTube business. It's always interesting to see actual numbers, right? And of course, I cannot thank you enough. It has been, again, an amazing year. Let me just share my screen here. There you go. You should be able to see now my YouTube studio page. I tagged the last 365 days. So really since the last Christmas um, where I made the last video. And as you can see, it has been very stable, very consistent. I accumulated a, a total of 450,000 views in the last year, which is insane, like almost half a million views. So thank you so much, whether this is the first video you're watching that gets recommended somehow through the YouTube gods through you, or whether you have been a follower since the beginning, I appreciate it really much. Uh, 
the, the feedback is and has been always amazing. Thank you so much for being here. 31,000 hours of my content has been consumed. I can't even imagine this number. This is insane. Uh, 8,000 more joined the channel this year. Thank you so much. Welcome here. Uh, it's amazing to have this community that is so supportive. Also in the comments, I see people answering each other's questions. As you can see, I had a huge day on September 13th. 181 people found the channel and subscribed. I have no idea what happened because there wasn't even a video. Maybe someone shared it in some kind of group. Uh, if you were the one, thank you so much. It's amazing. And I made a total of 2,138 euros through ad revenue on YouTube. So this is just um, the ads that run before and during my videos generated this much money. Then, of course, I also had the pleasure to work with many brands this year, including MemoQ, who have, who have been an amazing supporter of the channel for years now. Uh, I was able to work with Transla Stars this year. I had so many collaborations with people that came on the channel. Uh, the guests, they make the channel especially special because I love to make these videos when it's not just me talking and I can show you actually people that do the same thing and that can be and are role models for you guys out there. So thank you so much for ever, everyone who came on the channel or supported it in any way. Uh, a few pieces of information about the videos. The highest performing video of the year was the top 10 highest paid languages uh, with 40,000 views, even though this is not a video from this year, but it has been performing the best this year. So let me show you a bit, the best video that I made last year that, or best, not let's not say best because it's not the best, but the highest performing video that I made in the past year. It is with 10,000 views, will ChatGPT replace translators? Of course, a very relevant video and it's uh, doing well. And while I'm in this very neatly uh, generated analytics tool from YouTube, I'm going to show you a few other things. Let's look at the gender, for example. Most people that watch the channel are male with 56% compared to 43% females. Uh, the age of the viewers, my, my main audience is 25 to 34 years old. So that gives kind of a, an indication that my top uh, target audience is 25 to 34 year old males. Let's look at geography. Well, before I do that, let me guess, like what would be my top five countries? So definitely US would be there, UK would be there. Maybe it's always the English speaking. So maybe Australia, India, and maybe Germany. Oh no, Brazil is huge as well. Let me do that. So U US, UK, India, Brazil, Australia. Okay, not bad. Australia is not there. US, India, UK, Brazil and Germany. All right, that was not too bad. So thank you very much for these top five geographies for being here. And of course, for everybody else, whether you are the only one in your country watching or one of many. Is this spike here? That's again the September 13th. Okay, so 700 people in India watched the video. So someone must have shared it in India and someone just found like so many people found the channel and subscribed. So thank you so much to my new Indian subscribers. Let me quickly show you an overall analysis as well. So I started this channel in July 2020. Uh, I managed to accumulate 1.1 or almost 1.2 million views on the channel. Uh, oh yeah, here you can see it, 1.2 million views. It has been going steadily up and then it was stable. Uh, I really appreciate it. 28.3 thousand subscribers. Uh, last year we ended the year with 20K, I remember. So this year we gained whatever is over 20K and I made a total of 5,680 euros in ad revenue, excluding the sponsorships. Uh, it has been going down throughout the year, the, the revenue, and now in the last month it has been picking up again. So now I'm uh, averaging like five, six euros uh, a day, which is amazing. I am definitely not running out of video ideas. My content is planned until March already. So end of March actually, so the first three months are already planned. I plan these like roughly, of course, it's not going to be exactly that, but it just gives me like a nice peace of mind. You know, I know that I have stuff to record and uh, I can't wait to take you along to help you to like motivate you as well and uh, take a bit of the fear that is out there because uh, you don't need to be scared. It's still very much lucrative and very much possible to make good and even very good living as a language specialist, translator, whatever you want to be called. Uh, I'm very excited where the next series is going with my niching down and specializing. 
And if you want to come along, make sure to subscribe to the channel, be part of the freelance verse. Thank you so much for watching, whether it's one video or all of them. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a nice holidays and a good start in the year 2024. I will take a break now. I will come back on the 8th of January with a live Q&A. Let's start it off strong the year with the live uh, stream. So I would very much like you to be there. Uh, mark it in your calendars and I see you next year with a new season. Not a new season, but a new year of the Freelancers. Take care. Bye bye.